Hi, Frank. We're rolling. So, Frankie, so how has Local 28 changed your life? Local 28 changed my life drastically. You know, uh, I worked for a big shop, CPI Industries, which is a non-union shop. Um, I was new to the business, so I learned a lot. I can't say it. They didn't teach me a lot, but um, I watched the guy really degrade his workers. So uh, when the union approached us, uh, we were all very interested, but CPI went out of the way to hire with the call union buster. And uh, what this guy did was he bad mouth how the union just wants your dues and all that. Make a long story short, it was all bullshit. We or we did the organizer campaign. It wound up becoming a tie. Uh, me and five other guys came in. Um, the rest of the guys that didn't get in, this is going on two years later now, I get phone calls every day from these guys begging me to see if I could get them in. Um, I'm only a four-time apprentice where I was a mechanic in the non-union industry. Now I'm a four-time apprentice and I'm making almost double the money I was as a mechanic. I'm only, only halfway through my apprenticeship. And there's a lot to learn just besides reading a print and hanging duck. You know, this is, uh, this is uh, it's a way of life. And who are you working for now, Frank? Yeah, I work for s and uh, uh, Steel and Duck Fabricators, connected to JT and t Mechanical. All right. So, and, um, and just another question. So these are the guys that were not interested in the union at that time. And, no, they were so uh, not interested at all. This union buster was, uh, he was hired by the most expensive law firm in the United States. Uh, we wanted to find out that the union buster himself was a union worker for 20 something years, was kicked out of the Teamsters. Yeah, that's okay, Frank. Was uh, kicked out of the Teamsters for uh, for stealing. Yeah. And uh, now all of a sudden he's got beef with the union. All right. Um, so when I asked him in front of all the people, so the union was good enough for you for 20 years, you're not in the union no more, but you still have a pension, right? And he had to answer yes. So, so I was like, so these men are gonna work for twenty something, thirty years, and they don't have a pension or medical benefits or anything else. And what do you top out as a mechanic at twenty five dollars in one of these scab shops? Like, that's what it is. I, I, I make more than I make more than as, a, as an apprentice, and there's a lot of work. Work's never gonna stop because they want the work done the right way. So, Frankie, what is your message to the workers uh, in the current campaign? you know that about the union and and is it real or is it fake you know i know i, I know the feeling about sitting on the fence um i had batteries put in my back when i worked for the non-union uh in the non-union side uh about how they're gonna make me a project manager and this this and that and even that the money i mean dollars and cents the responsibility the the education you get from from the local it, 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 can, it will stay with you for the rest of your life. And the connections you get. I mean, you, you meet people from all different trades, and uh, it's, it's just a, a much better way of life. Okay, so you're saying that you're better, being, you're better off being oh, union than non-union? Oh, it's If you're gonna be in this industry, I, I don't even know why non-union exists. The only way non-union exists is for people's pockets to get fatter. It's, yeah, if this guy couldn't pay guys the extra $2 an hour that they wanted, but he could pay $250,000 to a lawyer, to combat, not well. Why do you have to pay that much money to go non-union? You know, let's say he just went union. If it didn't work out, it didn't work out. But no, you paid a quarter million dollars to to a lawyer instead of paying your guys. Where's the loyalty? There's no loyalty there. That's one thing with the union. It's all loyalty. They're always going to have your back, no matter what. And the union's always going to be there. All right. You'll always have a job as long as you show up to work, Tom. You know what you're doing. You always have a job. Sounds good, Frankie. Thank you very much. Do it, guys, man. Do it. Change your life for the better. Thanks.